Okay, welcome to this video. Hello guys, I'm Marek and this is the video on using Adobe Camera Raw for editing images and especially for synchronizing the settings between the images so they can use Camera Raw to quickly adjust the images. For example, I've got this group of images in here and let's say I want them all to be black and white and have vignettes and maybe add some other features. So what I can do, obviously, also by the way, I'll be using Adobe Camera Raw even though the JPEGs, because you can now edit JPEGs with Adobe Camera as well. Well, not just now, we've been doing it since uh, CS4, as far as I remember. So I'm going to open one of the images in Camera So I'll just right-click on the image in Bridge and open Camera Now I'm not opening Photoshop, I'm just opening Adobe Camera Raw here in Bridge. Okay, I'm just going to toggle uh, F to make a window a bit smaller, just so you can see the entire Camera Raw window here. And I'm going to start quickly customizing it. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, enough, nothing here for now. It's going to jump to the HSL grayscale for now and I'll convert it to grayscale. And now I'm going to play with the colors so because there are some rests here. Actually, I'm going to leave it as a default because I'll be working with different images. Okay, uh, lens corrections. I'm going to tick enable lens profile corrections. Anything here? Not much. That should be okay. That's the last. That's fine. Defer. That's okay. Now I'm going to jump to effects and I'll add some vignette in here. Just a bit of vignetting on the edges. Okay. Uh, midpoint. I'll leave it as this. The roundness. I'm going to keep all the other settings on the defaults. Now let's add a bit more contrast. So I'll go to the tone curve. Back to tone curve. I'm going to add a bit more contrast. I'm going to brighten the highlights. There aren't many highlights in here, just this guy in here. But we got some shadows. I'm going to darken a bit. And the dogs. Here we go. And now I'm going to set it, save it as a preset. So I'm going to go to here to presets. I'll create a new preset in here. I'm going to give it a name. So this will be black and white. And let's say vignette as well. I'm going to keep everything checked in here. So I'll click OK. Then I'll click done. Now what you can do is once you've got this preset, oh by the way, I'm going to reset it. So I'm going to right click on the image back in here in Bridge and now choose develop settings and clear settings. Okay. Now when it comes to synchronizing. I'm going to select all of these images in here. I will open them in Camera Raw. So right click, open in Camera Raw here in Adobe Bridge. They all open here in the slide. OK. And it's a number of things we could do. For example, I can click Select All, go to Preset tab, and just click on the preset. Uh, black and white vignette, that's the one. And all the images will have the preset applied. Okay. But here's another thing we can do. I'm going to cancel here. Okay. I'm going to open the camera row once again. I'll just select one image in camera row for now, the one I used earlier, this one here. Okay. I'll go to the presets and I'll apply the preset. Okay. Now, with this image selected, I'm going to select all the other images. Now, because this is not the first image, I'm going to use the control key or you could use command key on the Mac to select all the other images. Here we go. And I'm going to click Synchronize here. Synchronize becomes available. So I'll click Synchronize. I've got all these options selected. I'll click OK. And now all the images will synchronize in exactly the same way. So this is how you can use Synchronize and Presets in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm going to click Done here for now to go back to Adobe Bridge. And now all the images are getting black and white and yes, I may not have this image selected if it doesn't turn black and white. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.